Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for April the 9th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts, and your spirit ever renew our lives. A reading from Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our forebears have told us all that you did in their days, in times of old. How with your hand you drove out nations and planted us in, and broke the power of peoples and set us free. For not by their own sword did our ancestors take the land, nor did their own arm save them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you were gracious to them. You are my King and my God, who commanded salvation for Jacob. Through you we drove back our adversaries. Through your name we trod down our foes. For I did not trust in my bow. It was not my own sword that saved me. It was you that saved us from our enemies and put our adversaries to shame. We glorified in God all the day long and were ever praising your name. But now you have rejected us and brought us to shame and go not out with our armies. My confusion is daily before me and shame has covered my face. At the taunts of the slanderer and reviler, at the sight of the enemy and avenger. All this has come upon us, though we have not forgotten you and have not played false to your covenant. Our hearts have not turned back, nor our steps gone out of your way. Yet you have crushed us in the haunt of jackals and covered us with the shadow of death. If we have forgotten the name of our God or stretched out our hands to any strange God, will not God search it out? for he knows the secrets of the heart. But for your sake are we killed all the day long and are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Rise up. Why sleep, O Lord? Awake and do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our grief and oppression? Our soul is bowed down to the dust. Our belly cleaves to the earth. Rise up, O Lord, to help us and redeem us for the sake of your steadfast love. Let us pray. In the darkness of unknowing, when your love seems absent, draw near to us, O God, in Christ forsaken, in Christ risen, our Redeemer and our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of John, chapter 11. Therefore many of the Jews who had come to visit Mary and had seen what Jesus did believed in him. But some of them went to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. Then the chief priests and the Pharisees called a meeting of the Sanhedrin. What are we accomplishing? they asked. Here is this man performing many signs, If we let him go on like this, everyone will believe in him, and then the Romans will come and take away both our temple and our nation. Then one of them, named Caiaphas, who was high priest that year, spoke up. You know nothing at all. You do not realize that it is better for you that one man die for the people than that the whole nation perish. He did not say this on his own, But as high priest that year, he prophesied that Jesus would die for the Jewish nation, and not only for that nation, but also for the scattered children of God, to bring them together and make them one. So from that day on, they plotted to take his life. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. On this day, we pray for those who are suffering, and we include prayer requests from our church's prayer partnership and from Presbyterian World Service and Development. 
by the power of the Spirit, and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. We pray for the members and work of the Life and Mission Agency Committee of the Presbyterian Church in Canada. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for Ukraine. We are deeply moved by the stories of compassion and generosity as refugees fleeing this conflict are cared for by aid workers and welcomed in neighboring countries and around the world. Support and sustain those who are helping in ways we cannot and reveal new ways that we can. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of the nations, grant your wisdom to all those in authority and give them your courage to apply that wisdom with integrity, with clarity of purpose, and with compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of us all, we pray for the life of our Church, that enriched by your grace, we may witness to your eternal truth in our own time and place. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, you have taught us that in your Son, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness can never overcome it. Be with all those whose life is overshadowed by suffering and pain, or made hopeless by heavy burdens borne alone. Help them to know the gentle but powerful support of your love, and show us ways to reveal your light in their dark moments. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Look, we pray, upon our community. Strengthen that which is good within it and teach us to cherish it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who suffer from anxiety, depression, or mental illness of any kind, for those to whom life has brought the grief of loss, and for those who struggle to find meaning and purpose, that through your abiding presence and the care of others, they may come to know your peace and fulfillment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we give thanks for congregations who are faithfully supporting the refugees they have helped settle into Canada. From furniture to fellowship, May families who have resettled have their needs met. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty and most merciful God, you have given us a new commandment that we should love one another. Give us grace to fulfill it. Make us gentle, courteous, and kind. Direct our lives and help us to be aware of the needs of others, that together we may grow in love and live in peace. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. May the light of Christ shine in all our hearts. Amen.